in this next video, I'm going to start talking to you about areas of the menu that aren't accessible down these main buttons. So in this one, I'm going to talk to you about the talkback and monitoring. So to access that, we go to view. Within our talkback and monitoring menu, our first page we come to is monitoring. So on the far left hand side, we have our meter and we have a level. This is an attenuation separate from the monitor level that is on the board. But then we have a number of solo options which is selected by this pot. Each one has a little description below, so I'm not going to run through those. Then we have our delay options. So if your mix position is far enough away from the main PA that you need to set a delay, it means that your monitoring speakers will give you um, the source audio at the same time as the main stage. We also have a dim, so this um, dim attenuation directly corresponds to the button on the console and then we have a level reduction for when we're collapsing multiple um, sources down to mono. We can also select our main monitor source irrespective of our solo buttons and that pretty much ties up our monitoring. The next page is our talkback A. So we have the ability to enable our talkback and then tell it whether we want to use an external microphone or we're going to use this little inbuilt microphone here. We have an auto dim level, so when we talk on the microphone, we can um, dim the audio that's happening over the top. So if you're sending to a mix bus, whether that be for in-ear monitors or for floor wedges, something like that, it means that it will dim everything else that's being sent to it. So you can be heard on your talkback. We also have a latching option. So this the latching means that the switch, switch, the button on the main desk is toggled on and off rather than being momentary. So I prefer to have them not latching, so that means that I need to hold the button down to talk to somebody. You have two talkback um, options, so you have an A and a B. And these can be sent to different destinations, which you can set here. So you can send them to different buses. And you can have multiple sends. It's quite common for monitoring engineers to be sending stuff to each individual pack or to each wedge. We have exactly the same options for Talkback B. So it means that you can have different, two different setups depending on the situation that you're in. It may be that you want to just have one to talk to monitor engineer or front of house or stage crew and then one to talk to the band or whoever's giving some sort of presentation. After that, we move to our oscillator settings. So this is this moves away from the physical controls on the board but we have a, a sound generator this is really good for tuning PAs or tuning um, monitors etc so what we can do is with um, this we can select various different types of wave so we've got a sine wave, we've got pink noise, and we've got white noise. So you can send a particular frequency to, or two frequencies, which you can toggle between here. And with the use of a measurement mic, or any microphone, you can compare the RTA, or the analyzer, 
spectrum analyzer or the real time analyzer against the frequency curve or frequency response curve of that microphone and you'll be able to EQ to make sure that you're tuning to get an accurate representation of the sound coming from the main PAs or whatever you're looking to tune. Then you can send that wherever you like it. So matrices left, right, left, right on their own. So you can tune left and right individually. And that's a, a really useful tool. So pink noise is used quite a lot because it is all of the frequencies at the same amplitude and it will give you potentially the best results if you're using microphones or measurement microphones or normal microphones not normal microphones but you know what I mean non-measurement microphones and this is a really useful tool and that is found via the monitoring and talkback section so engineering what the engineer specific menu then after that we have the lamp very important menu so on the compact the lamp is fixed via four pin XLR on the rear and then on the main X32 the big the big boy it's um, fixed on the front and you have a lamp dim here And that takes us through our engineering menu of talkback monitoring and our oscillators.